we now deal with a very important topic related to classroom management. We meet a number of teachers across the country who always complain that they cannot control the students in the class. Really class control is a big big challenge for all the teachers everywhere in India. So let us learn some simple techniques and tips about how to control our class better. Class control begins from day one. The first day you enter the class, your first lecture in the class will set a pattern of how far you'll be able to control the class. So the first tip regarding class control obviously is that you should enter the class gracefully. You should enter the class with a stride. Be tall, have a nice and confident body language, have a nice cheerful smile on your face and a positive mindset and enter the class with a high energy level. It will give a message to the students that you have come to conquer the class. You have come to control their minds and they will easily listen to you. The second tip which we need to remember regarding class control is that you should correct individuals just as you enter the class. Many times as teachers when we enter the class we see that some students are looking out of the window, some are talking to each other, some are maybe moving around in the class, uh, some children are busy doing something else in the class. Some people are maybe playing around with their friends. So as soon as you step in the class, catch attention of these children, call out their names, look at them face to face and tell them to correct, tell them to sit straight, tell them to open the books of your subject, tell them to wind up whatever they are doing and pay full attention to you. So these first few corrective moments in your class will give a better hold on your class. They will help you to control the class better. Also, as you are teaching in the class, avoid turning your back to the class. It is seen many times that teachers tend to write a lot and lot on the blackboard and for a big part of the class, they turn their back towards the students. This is extremely wrong. It gives the students a big window for misbehavior and you may lose the control on the class when you are turning your back to them. So as far as possible, especially for new teachers, especially in the first few lectures in the class, face the whole class, face the students and avoid turning your back to them. The second important thing is that at least once in your entire period, go to the back wall of the class and stand behind the students. The students should feel that they cannot see the teacher, but the teacher can see all of them. They should be aware of your presence behind their back, standing behind their back. You may give them some work. They might be reading a little something. They might be writing something. They might be drawing some pictures. They might be copying something from the blackboard. And during those little two, three minutes, you should be standing at the back wall of the class, seeing what the children are doing. This will give you a real grip on the class. Also, we should remember that uh, if we want to have good control on the class, shouting is not the solution. There are many teachers who literally yell at their children for a long period of time and they are extremely irritable for the children. It is not at all advisable to raise your voice in the class for the entire period. So always begin your class with a soft voice, with a positive voice and use intonation. Sometimes have a high tone, sometimes have a low tone. Depending on the emphasis you want to give on your content, sometimes raise your voice, sometimes lower it. Have some variations in your voice. Have some modulations in your tone. Do not always shout. Remember that sometimes the silence of the teacher is also extremely important. If you go silent in the class, the children should be forced to think why is she not speaking today? Why is the teacher not saying anything to us? Your silence should give certain messages to the students. And you should have a voice soft enough that the children will have to really make an effort to listen to you. Your voice should not bang upon them. It should not reach them easily but they should need to make an effort to listen to you. Another important term which we all need to understand regarding class control is called with itness. Are you with the class? Are you with it? 
are you mentally totally alert when you are in the class you should be in a completely aware state of mind you should be completely sense sensitive to the micro activities going on in the class you should be able to sense the smallest happenings in the class while you are teaching this is called withedness what should a teacher do to achieve this withedness of course the first thing would be put aside all the other engagements the other thoughts that you have and concentrate completely on the children near you concentrate completely on the content that you are trying to teach the second important thing you need to do is never sit in a class avoid sitting on your teacher's chair as far as possible you should move through the class very swiftly and very very fast it should be such swift movement as if the floor is on fire you should be always moving from the corner to corner of the class the children in the class should always feel you around them in the class they should be sure that the minute anything goes wrong you will reach up to them they should be sure that the minute you sense anything going wrong you can reach up to them immediately also there's a very important principle underlying this which is proximity with the students as a teacher we need to maintain some proximity with the students always being at a far off distance from the child will not give a control over the child every child in the class should feel you very closely standing very near your his bench or her bench at least for one minute at least once in the whole period you should move around the whole class in such a manner that you should be close to every child in the class at least once in the whole teaching period this proximity will make the child feel that you know completely what he is doing if you sit in a chair in the class the students may be quiet but they will not be engaged in learning but if you move around in the class you will be able to sense the little happenings and the students will be always on their toes they will always be on an alert mode so have withedness in the class develop the withedness increase it and sharpen it as a teacher it will give you a great amount of class control and the satisfaction of having a good class thank you